This is a tutorial for Infinity Painter 7 on both iPads and Android tablets. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fill an enclosed shape perfectly without the gaps at the edges. And if you don't already know, you can actually use the fill tool. Just tap within the enclosed shape and drag your stylus left or right to adjust the tolerance and hopefully it will fill the color to the edges but for me it doesn't work most of the time so today I'm going to show you another technique to fill the shapes completely if you're using some other colors to fill the shape it may seem like there are no gaps but if you zoom in close there are actually gaps it's just that the contrast is not that obvious so you don't really see the gaps the developers know of this bug or glitch and they are working to solve this meanwhile instead of using the fill tool to fill the shapes i recommend you use the selection tool instead so just choose the one tool after you select the one tool and there is a selection already performed for you but it's not the correct selection that you want you can tap the clear button here to clear the selection so that you can make the selection yourself and before you select anything make sure your selection applies to all layers for this tutorial i have two circles each on its own layer and i'm going to fill the colors on this layer beneath the circles let's use the magic wand to select the shapes we want to fill if you want to fill multiple shapes you have to tap here to combine the shapes or the selections which i already done so and now if you want to fill the colors there will be gaps at the edges so the next step is to expand the selection tap here to expand and this will allow you to adjust your selection so i'm going to have the selection expand slightly over the black lines once you're happy with the selection, just tap here on the tick and tap here on the tick. To actually fill the colors, I'm going to be using the solid fill tool. So now I just fill the colors like this and let's get out of the selection and let's zoom in to have a look. So no gaps at the edges. So as you can see, there are a lot more steps compared to just using the fill bucket tool, but this will allow you to fill the shapes perfectly. And this technique can also work with other graphic design software because this problem with the fill bucket tool is actually quite common. And it's not specific to the fill bucket with Infinite Painter. So if I want to fill this shape again i have to select expand and change color and use the solid fill brush again to fill the shape if your drawing is very detailed it's going to take some time to fill in all the shapes perfectly this technique works very well for me for infinite painter as well as other graphic design and drawing apps